Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your last responsive design video and in this one I just want to talk about what's coming up next. Alright then guys, so first of all I want to say a massive thank you for sticking with me during this playlist. I hope you have learned at least a little bit during the last 11 or 12 lessons or so. Um, if not, then sorry guys, I'll try and improve. But um, if you want to learn more about responsive frameworks and responsive design, what I'd suggest you would do is maybe first of all read about responsive frameworks. Of course, yeah, practice with media queries and whatnot first. But then if you want to take it a little bit further and start making things a little bit easier for yourself, look at some responsive frameworks. We've already had a quick look at Bootstrap, okay? Um, but Skeleton is a really easy one to start off with because there's not much to it. There's a grid um, and there's just a couple of extra features. So that's really cool for small websites and just learning basically. You can also look at Foundation which is a little bit more advanced, got quite a lot of features in that and then Bootstrap as well. So as well as that I am going to be doing some more responsive tutorial series on this channel fairly soon. Uh, coming up pretty soon is going to be a PSD to responsive website tutorial where I'm going to take a PSD design and code that up in HTML and write the CSS for that as well. I'm not going to use a framework for that, I'm going to use all my own responsive CSS so you can see how I do that uh, from scratch. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to do a bootstrap tutorial series which is going to go from start to finish looking at bootstrap, the grid system, all the different features it offers and that kind of things and then how I prototype a website in bootstrap. So we'll take a look at that. And then finally, I am also at some point going to do a responsive WordPress theme tutorial. I've already got a PSD to WordPress theme tutorial in this channel, but I'm going to do another WordPress theme from scratch and make it responsive as well. Maybe using a framework, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So thanks once again for watching this series. Um, hope it has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. I'll answer all those and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial series.